This yacht is one of the biggest yachts that uh, has been built uh, for a private individual in America, uh, certainly in the last uh, 20 to 30 years. She's a fantastic example of a high quality uh, US built yacht. Uh, the volume on board Harbour Island here is phenomenal and for those that have seen uh, you know, the raised ceiling uh, in the upper saloon um, is something that takes your breath away. Some of the nicer features that I personally like about her, her garage, the big beach club down below, got the versatility of having the boats for storage or moving the boats and just having a big entertainment area. I want to say she's fast, but she's very, very comfortable. Heavy, uh, very quiet, uh, just a really good heavy sea boat. The price really does reflect the quality and the volume that you get with this yacht. She's asking uh, $54 million, but just looking at her, her overall length at 55 meters just doesn't tell you the full story. It's her gross tonnage, uh, which is 30 to 35 percent more uh, than anything you might expect to see in her class, uh, combined with the quality of build um, that is much closer to uh, North European shipyards than it is to anything else. This year we have eight yachts uh, in Port Canto and two yachts in the uh, Vieux Port on the sort of the super yacht extension. We've been coming here to Cannes for consistently now for the, for the last five years and we find it a great addition to the show season uh, but we see year after year that the, the quality of visitor uh, is very good indeed. I like coming here every year. This is nice. We get to see old friends, make new friends. Also get to see what's new out there, technology. I mean that's always a real plus here at the Cannes show.